Hello YouTube, Oberon Blade here and it's time to play a new game called Omerda City of Gangsters. This game was released, uh, well, yesterday, uh, I guess on uh, January 31st is easier to say, since there's no way of telling when you watch this video. Um, 2013, I've been playing it a little bit, um, a few missions, but I figure I'll start over from scratch. And uh, let's be that character. Uh, you grew up in a small village in Sicily. Your childhood nick nickname was Earful, Berries, or Hood. Uh, basically, you there are some um, RPG elements in this, I guess. Uh, whatever you pick here is like you get some benefits and some uh, negative aspects. Like you increase your cunning and smarts, and then you negative you remove one point in muscle. And each of these six attributes is affecting a character in one way. Like this is movement, among other things. This is uh, how well you are with firearms. Um, health. I think you start with 100 health and you can change that by increasing that. Uh, the turn uh, you get in combat, which is turn based in this game and this is the panic rating as well as cunning uh, so my aim is actually to get for maybe go for finesse smarts and cunning so this one gives me smarts and cunning this gives me smarts and finesse but i think i'm gonna go with berries because uh finesse being good with guns is, is a nice thing because this character starts with a gun Anyway, let's move on. Let's move on with the character creation. When you grew up enough, your father decided that you should learn diligence and learn a trade. You became apprentice to the blacksmith, the stonemason, or the shopkeeper. Now, um, um, I don't really want to lower my cunning anymore, so I would go with. Smarts and there we go. And toughness? No. One thing. Moving on. The most ridiculous feat you managed to pull off during your youth was stealing the key for the village mayor's wine cellar and drinking most of it before you were discovered, wrestling an enraged bull with your bare hands, or Sweet talking a local loan shark to forgive your debt and give you even more money just until you get back on your feet. Now this one lowers my muscle, which is uh, movements in combat. Uh, don't really need that, I think. Uh, when you were 16 years old, you fell in love with a previous girl in the village. Her brother challenged you to a duel. Since you were challenged, you got to pick the weapon. It was pistol. A knife, bare fist, or you let your enemy pick confident that you can beat him with every weapon. Uh, again, I don't want to mess up with my uh, smarts and such. So I have to go with this one. A pistol. You decided to leave Sicily and immigrate to America because a Don put a price on your head after you had an affair with his wife. A vendetta wiped out your family, leaving you and your brother the only survivors, or you decided to pursue the American dream in a land of opportunities. Now, this is an opportunity for me to get back some muscle or toughness a little bit. This one will give me toughness. Lowers my smarts, but that's okay, I guess. Uh, yeah, let's go for that. And I want to play an easy, because actually, the first time I played... Here I am, fresh off the boat. I died. Five bucks in my pocket, dreaming the American dream. Oh, I had good. to get my feet on the ground pretty damn quick. In the land of the brave, the wicked go unpunished. In the land of the free, freedom is an expensive commodity. Even the freedom to have a drink. Success is never about hard work or fate cutting you some slack right when you need it. Success comes from giving the people what they need, when they need it. Okay, a little bit of an intro there. Anyway, what I was saying was that um, I play easy because the first time I played this game, I got killed on mission three. 
I got a drink five minutes after I arrived in Atlantic City. The prohibition hasn't changed much here. Tourists still flock to the world's playground for a drink and a round at the tables. Me, Freddy Tonino, and Squiggs got a room in the less prestigious part of town. We scraped up what cash we had and got our hands into the booze trade. Okay, so this is the first mission, and uh, I'm playing the story mode uh, because uh, playing the sandbox mode, which is available, uh, you know, the, the, I don't really know that much of the game yet, so I figure I'll play the story mode and learn the ropes and that, and all. You know, I can move on to play the sandbox mode later on. So anyway, this is the first mission. It's called Welcome to Atlantic City. And the reward is that you, you can increase your gang size and you can level up when you complete it. Um, and uh, so there's a bit of tutorial going on. Uh, I really like this type of games and this game in general because of the graphical style, the setting, 1920s America, Prohibition. It's just... Welcome to Atlantic City, mm. boss. Let's look around our new home. So this is just a tutorial to, to camera control, so left, right, up and down. Oh, that is left, that is right. And then you can um, zoom in. I found us a nice place to stay near the famous boardwalk. Click on a building with a sign, with a hat sign above it to select hideout and view the information about it. Select your hideout. Well, anyway, you can zoom in, you can zoom out, and you can rotate. You cannot change the tilt though, but that's okay. So this is my hideout. About this in, uh, panel holds inform important information about the selected building. So I can upgrade it. Since we're new in Atlantic City, boss, we should learn what we can about the district and gather some information. Yeah. Um, anyway, as we can, as I said, we can upgrade level two, which gives us extra storage. We have 50 in storage now. That's the maximum size. Uh, don't have the money for it though. Or we can decorate it by building a nicer fence, a pathway, garden, entrance. Uh, but these here means that you need to upgrade uh, first, and I'm not going to do that. Um, so we're going to do what we were told to do, which is go to this question mark. And this question mark is an informant. You go in here, you, you either spend some cash or you have a beer with a few guys, and, and you know, they talk about the neighborhood and all that, and then a few more stuff will light up. Since we don't really have any beers, I do have one beer, so I could do that. Um, uh, so I could do that as an option, or I could do the big spender, which costs five hundred money at this point. Um, so let's go with the big spender. Good job, boss. I eagerly await your return. So this is me running here from a little hideout across the street into this foreman here. And there's a key, uh, this padlock here, not a key, padlock. And that tells me that I cannot give other orders to that character at this point. Looks like you found a couple of independent breweries, boss. We can steal some beer from them. <laughs> so I can either, you know, buy, steal, or, s or sell alcohol. Um, that's an opportunity. And then we have uh, actions which is, uh, this time it's an aggressive, which is a raid. And um, if I do that, I mean, now I've found information that there is a illegal brewery here, there's a legal brewery here, uh, and I think that's all the information we have so far. So if I do raid, my relationship currently is neutral. Uh, a raid will lower my rating to cold. So if I do it, I will get 20 beer and heat. And heat is not good. The, the, the cops will be on to you if you get too much heat. And it says I'm in a mastermind, so action will complete it faster, which is not a bad thing. If we do a drive-by, then we, we need firearms, which we don't have. And, and that is to get them out, is to take over the businesses. Or we can buy beer, uh, but that costs money. So we're going to do raid, which the tutorial tells us to do. Got a lot of work to do. So there are far too many opportunities for you to handle alone, boss. 
why don't you bring in squigs to help uh, yeah so then I'm gonna hire a henchman squigs double click and I have uh, squigs here there is no point in examining him because you know there's no choices to be made at this time but I check him out so this is what he is he's a burglar uh, I don't really know what that perk means or that title means he is carrying a pistol his talents is defensive stance and um, it, it gives it makes him a little bit tougher to hit and then you unlock perks on level 4 and level 8 and I guess and so what action points um, movement points health courage initiative reaction things like this and it cost my it cost me fifteen dollars uh what is it on a daily basis yeah so we hire him uh we don't really have much of a choice so now he's in my group he's, he's part of my Hi, gang. boss i heard that you found some guys stealing illegal alcohol we should steal their beer so now he gave me a mission which is as you can see to get a 40 beer casks and i have one um, since I'm away at this place, I just am running here. I send. Uh, no wait. We raid that place with squigs, and he will get 20 beer. Plus he's a burglar, so he get a little bit of extra. So that's I won't nice. Beat my gum, boy. Now we have 21 out of 50, so I don't need that much more. But as you noticed, I my relationship with this owner is cold. If I buy beer, I guess I can get that up to a uh, neutral level again. And my uh, here fear has gone up by three, while my uh, liked has not. Good work, boss. Now we can sell the beer and make some real money. I heard some Irishman is looking to buy beer. You should talk to him. So now I have 46 out of 50 beers, or 46 beers, and I can only store 50. And this is gang management, where you can see here. This is a fire sale. Basically it means that if you are overstocked, you have to make a fire sale. Which means you have to have to sell stuff at a very lower, low, pr low price until you get below or equal to your storage. You can increase the storage uh, by either upgrade your hideout or building storage facilities. You don't have many contacts yet, but that'll soon change, boss. In the meantime, you should maybe make a deal with the Irish group. Okay. So, Right now, this is mission one, so it's a tutorial, so I don't get many options, as they said. But there is beer, and he is buying beer, and then we have liquor, which is a stronger alcohol, firearms, money, and special. Don't know what uh, special is, but this is, I think this is to launder money, from dirty money to clean money. I was almost hit by a brick on the road today. Now I'm rethinking my life. I should buy some beer, open a pub, and give up my life and cry when racket. So I ascend, uh, I go by myself, I don't see, it. there doesn't seem to be any change in who gets in there, so that's real, it. Boss? The job's on the way boss, you can take a look around the district while we wait for the job to finish. And it says jobs usually offer better prices to local businesses and opportunities. Use jobs to buy low and sell high and you'll make tons of money in no time. Um, so, yeah, it's going to take me a while to finish here, so I can look around. There isn't really much else going on around here. Uh, I do like the graphic style. Oh yeah, one of these places, loose joint, uh, which you can... Uh, uh, I guess that they can supply you with beer if you want. Or you supply them, not sure which. Oh, mission done. Boss, the job's done, we've got the money. 
We should use it to explore the district for more opportunities. Buildings with a question mark sign are called informants. You can use them to discover new independent businesses. So I have to do again what I did recently or in the beginning and that is going over here and I do have some money now I do have some beer so it's going to cost me 10 beers or now it's going to cost me 100 of money so I send in squicks to do that you don't like have a good to idea. this is as far down as we can get and you can click on a building even if you don't know anything about them, but as you see, you don't get much information out of it. So I could... I don't have the money to buy six by beer. And if I do a drive-by, well, I need firearms. I don't have that either. Mark, okay. I can't find squigs anywhere. Oops. I'm afraid something may have happened. So now I have to find Squicks. Look for a special action titled Where Squicks, circle sign with exclamation mark. Uh, this is a warehouse. Getting one of those will allow me to store more items. For example, there's a question mark. Uh, it's not an informant, no interest. This one is a distillery. This is where you uh, either create your own liquor or you if you own it, which I don't. But okay, here we go. We're squicks. So this is a mission within the mission. Well, Got a lot of work mission. To do. So I'm gonna be heading over there. There I go. There I run. Fast, fast, fast. You cannot change the clothes on your arm on your guys. Um, it's part of the who they are. Basically, there are Marks, Some people saw Squigs get jumped by three goons. They dragged them into their car and drove off away from the boardwalk. Squigs is held in a building with an I sign above it. Explore the district to find it. Oh, there he is. Abandoned warehouse. So let's investigate. And we start. No rest for the boss. And again, I'm running my way to get there. I don't have a car yet. That's how it's done. Now we come to the combat aspect. In a small warehouse, rescue him and escape. So, there is an opportunity to auto-resolve, not this one. Because this is tutorial mission, it's going to teach you about combat. But later on, like from the next combat mission on, you, you can out select to auto resolve it, and then you don't have to do the combat. So it gives you a percentage chance on how likely you are to succeed or fail. Uh, I have no one to support me, so I have to go in by myself. Uh, hmm. Okay, so there are two, uh, I guess, actions, as you can see here. You have the red ones, which are action points, or AP, and then you have the movement points, or MP. And the thing is that once you start shooting, you cannot move. So you have to move first, and then shoot. Um, also, do you see this uh, shield icon? This means that uh, my character will take cover once they're on one of those uh, green spots automatically. There's nothing I can select about it. And this one tells me if I'm seeing uh, any of the opposition mm. or not. I don't, so it's my turn again. Um, still don't see anybody? No? See me and you die. Okay, so there I just discover an enemy here, which I, my character automatically stops moving forward when they encounter an enemy. Um, if it's an enemy, if someone in your group has seen before, you will get like a 
a splash icon on the ground instead of footsteps where you will be able to see that enemy and then maybe take some action in towards it. If it's like this time where I did not know where the enemy was and because I didn't have anybody seeing it until I got within range, it will stop your movements. So I can click here and that, okay, that's the guy I'm seeing. And so it suggests I'm going to do the standard quick shot, which is going to cost me three action points, right? AP, three, quick shot, do 12 to 24 damage. And I have like 51% chance to hit. And here it's at 21%, you see that? Basically that means that the box here, I have a 21% chance to hit the box, which is in front or between him and me. Uh, I have this one, which is a precise shot that ignores any type of cover. I have a 72% chance to hit with that. It costs five points to use though. And then we have the gut shot um, that costs bleeding for five turns. And uh, that is, uh, the bleeding takes 10 points of damage per turn extra. And then we have the uh, aim which is costing me, well, I guess that's the way it is. So I have 87% chance to hit the enemy. And I did not hit as far as I, I miss. The 30% chance that told me to miss made me miss. Okay, and now he's aware of me. He wasn't that before. So let's do a normal shot or Yeah, let's do a normal shot. It costs three points. And I miss, and I do one more shot. Which makes me miss. And I can't move. I'm stuck at this position here. And now it's his turn. And he is a melee kit. No, he's not. Okay. Let's zoom in a little bit. Um, I guess there's no point in doing anything other than just shoot him at point five range. And again. Time to meet your maker. There we go. And as you saw, I did not make any movement, but since I started shooting, I cannot move at the same turn. So this is my health bar. I was wounded, so I took some damage. Uh, my courage is kind of high, which is good, because that means that uh, some shots do courage damage. <coughs> Sorry about that. Nothing else happening Time right now. Time to get now. a move on. So I make my way to Squigs. As, as you can see, I take cover behind this uh, crate. It is not a hundred percent good cover because some covers can be destroyed. Um, All right, let's go. Others can't. There is also different types of weapons. Okay. I am on that one now. There we go. Now I got this uh, bar up here, and it tells me the the movement turn, who is do, whose turn it is. So it's my turn, which it is now, and then after that Squigs get to move, and then we have two gangsters, then me and Squigs, two gangsters, me and Squigs. Ready, boss! So, let's see if we can get Squigs uh, out of here. I'm blocking him, of course. So I put him in the first stance for now, and we end the turn. We can hear the gangsters All right, moving. let's go. Um, don't see any gangsters. Let's see if we can get in there. Still no view of them. And turn. It. Squigs can move a little bit further than me, uh, which is okay. Time to get a move on. I rather have a henchman taking damage than me. So let's move there. Okay, there's a henchman down there that is hiding, and I see him. 
So I see no point in not shooting him. Um, 72, 87. This time it worked. So do it again. There we go. As you see, my damage takes both dam uh, health and courage off him. So when he's down to 10 courage, my, the character will start panicking. Exactly what he will do then, I don't know. Ready, boss. Now it's Quick's turn. So he goes here. Maybe I can put him here. And he can see the same character, which is good. He's going to take a gut shot. 9 and 14% chance to hit the barrels instead. Uh, or the crates. So let's do an aim shot that bypasses all of that. 82% chance. I shoot you, you fall down. Yeah. That's cool. Uh -huh. And then a defensive stance to make it more difficult to hit because we do know there is one more enemy. There he is. Okay. I already knew all that. It costs extra to use more. This one, as I said, costs three. This one costs one additional, so this and this would be four. With that one, it would be four as well. 54% chance. And the thing is that you cannot save your moves. You have to move at your turn. Atta boy! And, um... <coughs> Nothing personal. There we go. So, if I had a character over here, for example, that had a better chance to hit, I would still have to do stuff with this main character. In the order. There's no other way to do it. Okay. So, two kills. Something is wrong because there was actually three kills. Uh, Squeaks killed one, uh, but he doesn't show up here for some reason. Maybe because he wasn't part of the group in the beginning. Thanks for saving me from those thugs, boss. I would have taken them out myself if they hadn't snuck up on me like that. Okay, so we gain a level, which is what the end of the tutorial, the reward for this. Uh, tutorial mission here. So we go to uh, there and select level up. And here's the new perks that you can pick. Uh, at as you can see, there is a bunch of them. Um, right now, I can only pick any of these here. So, which one should we go for? Range specialist, increase damage by range attacks by 10%, bloodlust uh, gives me 3 action points on a kill, which allow me to fire again actually, it's not too bad. Higher courage, I have 160 already, so... This one, courageous, give me full courage after I kill an enemy, also a nice thing. Fleet of feet, 2 additional movement points. I only have 9, so extra movement parts would be very nice. This one also act faster to start a, start a battle, which means that maybe I get to do my moves before any of my enemies get to do it. Which is always a good thing if you have a lot of uh, opposition. You want to be able to move fast to maybe get to a defensive position. Um, I'm not going to do melee attacks with this character, of course, not saying that the enemies won't approach me and want to do melee with me. More criticals. Um, no, I have like 8 in critical chance. I don't know if that's percent or what it is. Uh, sniper. I, that one could be good. Uh, sometimes you are pinned down, you, you don't kill an enemy right off the bat during your turn. So, standing behind cover and shooting again will give you uh, more damage. With 10% instead of 20% instead of 10. And then we have the tough one, which gives you better health points. 
and me getting another 15 half points wouldn't be too bad and then we're the vengeful so this one is good in case you get a melee character you know running up to your face and, and, or, and, and start being well basically misbehaving but I think I will go with um, maybe the sniper yeah you go over there and as a this as a mastermind or if it's just because I'm the this is my character I have second wind so this is good uh, it's a good one and then we move on to squigs and he is a burglar he has a uh, lower critical chance his courageous courage isn't that high he doesn't have all the same options that I have because of him being different um, I do like that he has 10 movement points but he's also using a gun so should we increase his courage or gain additional should we go sniper with him as well tough vengeful I actually think I would go with Brain Specialist. Yeah, let's go with that one. Okay. Done. I'm your man, boss. Mm. So that's it. And I think that's the end of the first episode or first mission. Let's find out. Now that you've dealt with the distractions, we should return to the task at hand. Making money. <laughs> I was wrong. So, we have to make a thousand dirty money, which isn't too difficult, it's 3865 at the moment. So how do we get that money? Well, we have to find the question mark. Well, we don't have to find a question mark, but we can see here we have three jobs. He wants to buy beer for 320, so I could do a few more uh, raids. We have liquor here, he's selling liquor, he's not buying it, he's selling it. And then we have this one, and it's the same guy, now he's selling firearms instead. Uh, no idea what those do yet. But no, I'm not in the mood to uh, buy that. So what we need to do is... We already raided him once. Kind of stupid to do it again, don't you think? How about this one? It's neutral, so we raid. So let's send him there. Wait, what if we do buy 300 for 10? And this guy 320 for 30. Okay, we rate it. Squigs, go. It's a free country, in it. In it, yeah, in it. In it. How about this one? Um, 40 beer for 400, no. Just go here and, uh, yeah. Time to get my hands dirty. There we go. And he wants to buy. I was almost hit by a brick on the road today. Now I'm rethinking my life. I should buy some beer, open a pub, and give up my life of crime and racketeering. Hmm, why can't I accept? Shalom. Beer is in great demand in our part of the city. I am willing to buy some from you. Because I use some beer. Okay, I'm not doing too well, I guess. I'm in a rush, boss. Yeah, I have to use money for that. So let's see what we can find out. I'm in there, fiddling around. 
Um, you must have it done right. Do it yourself. Protection racket. So how about doing that though? I do need a lot money. of work to do. This one. Can be done. Done, boss. Okay, so he gave me some information and residents, still celebrity living here. Now I can give them some gifts. It's gonna cost me, f well I can't give them. Um, so I can do a performance instead. So I need a that. rush, boss. You must have it done right. Do it yourself. Um, it's coming a counter. I don't want to do that. Uh, Squeaks is busy elsewhere. What's this one? Mm. I need beer. Sure. The real boss ain't afraid of grunt work. Get that. Weeks is doing some type performance for the celebrity. There's a reason why I'm the boss. Okay. She is buying 50 for 550. He's buying 15 for 155. I have several requests for beer. These are all trusted clients I am willing to keep. Aye, I'm a proud Irishman. You know what that means? I need to get plastered right now. Get me some beer. Time to get my there hands dirty. Hmm. Why couldn't I sell to her? Nice beeswax, eh, boss? Some clean money. There we go. I have several requests for beer. These are all trusted clients I am willing to keep. No idea. Liquor, I do have a bunch of liquor. Uh, only have 20. I'm in a slump. I need to stop thinking about blasted money, defaults, and banks. I need some liquor. Okay, so we sell some rush, liquor. Boss. That should get, get me over the top, which is good. You must have it done right. Do it yourself. 905. Exactly. Do it yourself. I have several requests for beer. These are all trusted. Anything else I yeah I can go there. Big spender. Sure. No rest for the guts. I really don't need to do it, I think. As some quality liquor. It almost makes me forget those dogs from the blasted revenue service who keep sniffing at my money. Uh I don't have any more liquor, so Boss, it's those damn thugs again. The ones that beat me up. We had to take them out before they end up taking our money, boss. Okay. So now to go do some combat things. So we assign those two and auto resolve is forty five percent, not very good moves or a percentage, so let's resolve this ourselves. Yeah boys. 
I guess this is my hideout. Oh, nice place. Maybe I should have invested it in uh, some fences. So, squeak starts, then it's a gangster turn, then me, then a pickpocket, then a gangster. Okay, so, basically, let's move there. Can I see anybody? No. Still don't see anybody. None in range, so that's a defensive stance. And we end turn. Hmm. I wish I could hide, basically behind. Uh, here it is. You see this uh, mark here? That means that once I get to this spot, I can see the gangster. And he's there. So a normal shot, 20% chance to hit. Squeaks, on the other hand, is in the way. So I don't really want to do the shot. Can I get there? See me and you die. And there's another enemy over there. 40% chance the table and stuff is in the way. Uh, let's do this and this. 72. 51. Now we have to go with that one. Yeah, that's the one. And again. Ready, boss. Um. Okay. I shoot you, you fall down. All right, let's go. And this is sniper, so. Had a boy. And this one. Nothing shot. personal. And this guy. Not good enough, and I can't move, so... Let's do a gut shot. No, not good enough. Hey, well. There we go. Ouch. Yeah, boys! I shoot you, you fall down! There we go. Ta-da! That went better this time. Those goons were persistent until I taught them a lesson. I thought they'll be coming back soon. Uh, okay. So, this is the end of the mission, I would think. Yes, mission complete. There we were. Me, Squigs, and the Stiffs. They jumped us. They got what they deserved. Squeaks lost two of his fingers. I lost the man I was before. There and then, a smoking gun in my hand, dead bodies all around me, I realized that I'd passed the point of no return. If the law couldn't protect me and mine, I had no use for it. If there were no paying jobs for me, I'd be my own employer, make my own rules. And if that makes me a gangster, then yes. Okay, time for mission two. However, we will do that in the next episode. So, this is Oberon Blade playing Omerda, City of Gangsters. Thank you for watching and hope to see you again. Bye bye.